So welcome to Worship. We're going to start with a piece of band music. In fact, we're going to start with two videos in quite a lot of contrast. One is a simple Salvation Army band. Uh, they're coming to us not from very locally. It's a band that I know, a band that I know Andrew Mackerath knows, and they're going to bring us a nice little march to start our worship. And then a video in contrast straight after. So two videos to start our carol service. These aren't for you to sing, but if there's something that you know and you can sing along with, feel free. The choice is yours. strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. You have that power too.
the force awakens. That's what Christmas is all about. Je Jesus coming, God coming in the form of Jesus as that baby in the manger. And it's what we're going to sing about. We're going to share some carols this morning, a very short thought. And we're just going to remember the force awakened at Christmas. We're going to start off with a carol. Most, I think all the carols or most of the carols you're going to know very well. But this takes us back to the just the sort of the very start of that first Christmas morning. It came upon a midnight clear. This one you should definitely be able to sing with. The words are going to be there. Feel free to join in and we're going to sing this as our first carol together. And let's share a prayer together. Dear loving Heavenly Father, this Christmas, may we truly understand the song that the angels sang, the fact that they were pointing to a saviour, the force awakening in this world, giving us the example of how you would choose that we should live. We see that in a baby who grew to be a man, who lived and died to save us and rose to promise us eternal life. Dear loving Heavenly Father, there is so much in this wonderful Christmas story. May we always remember that promise of God being with us that is manifested on this lovely day. So be with us for this time together and make that force awakening real to each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing another chorus, another uh, carol that you'll know well, and it reflects what we've already sung. Uh, it's the first Noel. So again, a chance for you to sing along. You'll know this well.
So some lovely carols that we know well. The next piece of music I want to share with you isn't a carol. It was a Christmas piece of music, which was sung, I think, originally maybe by uh, Amy Stewart or Amy Grant. I'm not quite sure. But it became quite popular. And my daughter made a recording of this, oh, probably about 15 years ago. And it was a lovely recording at the time. I really enjoyed listening to it. But this Christmas, it has become very special. As most of you will know, uh, she had her own baby uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they're doing well down in Margate. We were hoping to go and see them, but until I've had my PCR test now, I don't know whether I can. But uh, I just wanted to share uh, this song with you because it says so much. We've thought about angels. We've thought about shepherds. That last song mentioned the wise men. This really talks about Mary and her journey with the baby. It is a beautiful song, a lovely song. So I've put some video to it and I want to share it with you. You may be able to sing along if you want to, uh, but you may just want to listen to the song and read the words that they are there. We're going to uh, share Breath of Heaven.
beautiful part of the story Mary was told that she was going to bear the savior of the world she was human she was frail she had her worries but she went through with what God asked her and everything flowed from that God coming to earth was through Mary that breath of heaven that flowed through her when we have our carols by candlelight on Friday, I'm going to share the, the Bible readings that we know so well. Uh, but I'm going to share the Bible readings in a different way this morning. Uh, very much a change of tone from the last video we looked at. Uh, this might remind you a little bit of Bob Dylan. So we're going to have the Bible story. And it's actually called... The Incarnational Homespun Blues. So I hope you can pick up the words, or certainly pick up the intention of the words. This is our Bible reading for this morning in the style of Bob Dylan. A message mom said she's gonna be a mom Joseph don't like the news Got the cheap woman blues Feeling sad and pretty mad Till he finds a God's a dad Hey kids, no need to part The incarnation's about to start So don't have a seizure Try to appease her A walk to Bethlehem won't please her Got a sign of fall for Augustus Caesar It's called a census, son 80 miles of boots saw tied and knocking on the doors Mary nearly on the floor, she can't take it anymore Joseph's nearly shaking, all the rooms are taken Mary's body's aching from the baby that she's baking But one guy says, I'll help if I'm able I think I can squeeze you into my stable It ain't got no charm and it smells like a farm But don't look for long, cause it's cozy and warm I'm there at Christmas morning, Jesus Christ was born Night was deep, hardly a peep. Shepherds asleep after count of their sheep. Laying by the fire with the moon rising higher. And suddenly above them burned a heavenly choir. Singing, look what God did. He sent his own kid. He gave you a savior for your bad behavior. To so lose the frown, get yourselves to town. Peace on earth, that's what's going down. You'll find him in the manger in a swaddling gown. So that's what they did. Wise men knew when the star shone to get gone Went west, best guess, made hair and real stress Red face, wrong place, restart the king Chase stars, stop, looked around, found themselves in Davis Town Went right in and saw the child In 
the arms of his mother mild Gave their gifts with humble smiles Said all that they had to say And went back home by another way And that's all, folks Christmas story in two minutes. I quite enjoyed that when I first saw it. Uh, we're going to sing another song that I think you'll know well. Uh, you'll certainly know it if you've been brought up in the Salvation Army. It's Noel. Now, the words to the verses are all there on the screen as we sing. I have to say the words to the chorus are not there. All you've got to know is fit in a lot of Noels and you'll be fine. So we're going to sing what was originally a Sunday, uh, sorry, a singing company song for our junior choir. Uh, it is now in our songbook or in our carol book, but it's one that I love. It takes me back to my youth, but it's a lovely, simple, childlike carol that we can enjoy together. So we're going to sing Noel. One of the nice things about being in charge is you get to choose all the songs. And I actually asked Ian if the songsters could learn a piece of music. Uh, and I asked him about three or four years ago, and he said, it's very plinky plonky. Don't think he wanted to, don't think he wanted it. But I kept moaning and groaning. And because this was going to be my last Christmas at Nuneaton, he finally succumbed and said, yes, we would learn this song. So the songsters over the last few weeks have learned this song, and now we're not together to sing it. But we can sing it because I have the words, I have the music, uh, I have a video. So, and I did, we did actually share this last year when we were online last year as well. But you're all going to know it. Certainly the songsters are going to know it. So we're going to share together Gift Wrapped Love. Uh, I've, again, I've chosen it because I love it, and I'll tell you why I've chosen it in just a few minutes' time. But let's share Gift Wrapped Love together first. Gift 
give some buying candy takes up so much time. We enjoy the carol singers. Merry Christmas rhyme. But the reason for the season I'll make clear and play. With the birth of Christ our Savior, Just for the season of mistletoe and toys, of Christmas cards and Santa and other short lived joys. But take him for the reason our Father gift wrapped love to offer you freedom. Dressing trees with decorations for the Christmas time. We enjoy the church bell ringers. Merry Christmas chime. But the reason for the season, I'll sing out again. With the birth of Christ our Savior. season of mistletoe and toys, of Christmas cards and Santa and other short-lived joys, but take him for the reason our Father gift wrapped love to offer. Christmas cards and Santa and other short-lived joys, but take him for the reason our Father gift wrapped love to offer you freedom. That's definitely not too plinky plonky for me. I really love that song. That's why I chose it. I chose it because I love singing it. But there's much more to it than that. It talks about the traditions that we love. Gifts, carol singers, sweets, decorating the tree, mistletoe, Santa, so many good things. And it doesn't suggest that any of those things are wrong. They are things to enjoy. But it reminds us that the greatest gift we have is the gift of love wrapped up by God in Christmas. In John's Gospel, we don't read anything of the birth of Jesus. But he writes these very memorable words. In John chapter 1, verse 12 
We read this. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. To, to all who received him. To get to the true meaning of Christmas, we go on a journey. Not just recognising that Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Not just having this wonderful time of year to remember. But to actually accept that we have been given a gift. That we need to actively receive. We sing a carol that says, where meek souls will receive him, still the dear Christ enters in. At Christmas, we recognise him. At Christmas, we remember him. But the most important thing we can do is receive him into our hearts. We're going to sing that carol. It's a lovely carol. But when we get to that part, when we sing, where meek souls will receive him still. And I ask that you do that. Receive Jesus into your heart. Receive the gift-wrapped love that God gave you in Jesus. Because it is love for you that brought Christmas about. And so we're going to sing this carol together. It's a little town of Bethlehem, and we're going to share it now.
Let's just share a brief prayer together. Dear loving Heavenly Father, this Christmas we have just sung, O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. We pray that that will be true. We pray that we will recognize you coming. We pray that we will remember the wonderful story. But most of all today, Lord, I pray that each and every one of us will receive you. That love was for everyone. May each and every one of us gathered here online today and people that may watch in future days, may they each and everyone recognize you and receive that love. Lord, we thank you for all that is wrapped up in this Christmas message. And we just ask that you bless this message to us today and always. Amen. We're going to share one more carol to send us on our way. Has to be one of the big ones, doesn't it? So we're going to share Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So I know that you'll know this. Enjoy singing it. We've been all over the world today. We started off in Germany. We've had a little bit of Norwich just now. We had a bit of Reading and a bit of Margate with Sarah and my mum. Uh, we've been all over the place. We're going to go to Canada to finish our worship. We're going to share with uh, our friend at Oshawa, uh, which is up near Toronto in Canada. Uh, during the first lockdown, we, I used quite a lot of their stuff. Uh, they do some good stuff. And they obviously had a nice carol concert a little while ago and recorded it. So we're going to share with them, Hark the Herald Angels Sing to finish our worship. And then I'm gonna bring you just a closing verse as a benediction. So let's share Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
And as words of benediction, I'm going to bring you two verses from once in Royal David City. For he is our childhood's pattern. Day by day, like us, he grew. He was little, weak and helpless. Tears and smiles like us, he knew. And he feeleth for our sadness. And he shareth in our gladness. And our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming love. For that child so dear and gentle is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the place where he is gone. May that be a reality for each and every one of us this Christmas. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget you're free to join us at seven o'clock on Friday for some more contemplative carols, carols by candlelight. I'd love to see you there. But thank you for joining us this morning. Have a wonderful day.